Hey, is this asteroid called Apophis really going to hit Earth on April 13th, 2029? Or is this just some kind of Friday the 13th hoax? I've got the answer to that apocalyptic mystery, plus answers on a couple other things that you guys sent in. Like this picture of a mouse with wavy hair, a strange story that wants us to believe a woman was saved by voices she heard in her head, and this picture that claims this crashed plane was found on Google Earth. I've got all that, plus a new mystery video, my favorite fake of the week, and a whole lot more. So grab your friends, grab your family, everybody sit down and find out who's best at sorting out real from fake. Hey guys, Bill here. We're gonna be shining a big light on that big asteroid in just a second, but first, I wanna let you guys know, you know, the people who are winning the pin these days, well, most of them are signed up for Bill's channel early alerts, and well, I think you should sign up too. If you wanna get an early alert of big fakes coming your way, like asteroid hoaxes, fake end of the world predictions, and other things that scare you, just take a few seconds to click on the link in the description box below and sign up. Thank you. So now, what about this asteroid called Apophis, which apparently is the scariest of all the uh, asteroids out there right now? Uh, there is a prediction that it's going to be hitting our Earth on, get this, Friday the 13th, 2029. The prediction was first sent in by Aiden Ramirez, Lunatic Golden DC2, and Jean J. Smythe. Oris Louis wrote, Bill, I'm getting a little freaked out over these new articles about the Apophis asteroid. Are they real? Guys, normally I take all asteroid predictions and throw them into, well, you know, that special file I have called, So, so fake. fake, it's, it's funny. funny! But this one, well, you know, it seems to have some pretty serious scientists seriously worried. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's do a fact check on this one, see what's going on. According to Wikipedia, in December of 2004, scientists became very concerned about a killer asteroid named 99942 Apophis. Measured at 1,210 feet or 370 meters, this big frozen space rock got a 2.7 chance of hitting the Earth on April 13, 2029. Wow, that's pretty big. Uh, let's see, that's probably about the size of three football fields like you know coming down in your backyard not good that's right something this size could do some serious damage to our planet and kill millions of people depending on where it hits luckily the scientists went back and they did some more calculations on this thing and then they decided well it's uh, actually much much less likely uh, that this thing's going to hit our planet uh, than we first thought and as a result of that, the whole Apophis story kind of disappeared out of the scare media for a while, uh, until recently. That's when some new scientific studies determined that calculating the exact trajectory of asteroids is, well, more difficult than first believed. In other words, what they figured out is there are a lot of things out there in the solar system that can cause these asteroids to change their flight path, even if just a little. But it only takes a little to make it less predictable about where it's going to go. One of these things is called the Yarkowski effect. So how does this effect work? Well, like Earth, most asteroids rotate slowly as they move through space. During the day, the surface of the asteroid is illuminated by the sun, so it absorbs heat and grows warmer. During the night, however, the surface cools down, emitting the heat it absorbed as radiation. This radiation exerts a force on the asteroid, acting as a sort of mini thruster that can slowly change the asteroid's direction over time. So, let me get this straight. If the Arkowski effect is real, we don't really know where Apophis is headed. Am I, am I getting this right? By studying the Yarkovsky effect on Bennu with the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, NASA scientists hope to better predict how an asteroid might move through the solar system and whether it poses any danger to us here on Earth. Okay, well, uh, that's kind of a relief, but when are we going to get this information? According to NASA, 
The spacecraft will be back on Earth in later 2023. The data will then be analyzed over the next few years. Hmm, I see why this story has popped up again. If we can't predict where this thing is actually going very accurately, then can we safely say it is not going to hit our little blue planet? Tell you what, I think it's time for you guys to let the world know what you think. Do you think this asteroid will hit Earth in 2029, as some people are predicting? Or do you think this is just is not going to happen? Go for real if you think this thing is going to hit our planet in 2029. Go for fake if you think there's no way this thing's going to hit our planet in 2029. And then you can always go unknown if you don't think anybody has a solid smoking gun answer on this. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to get their thing together and make their vote, what do you say we take a look at this week's mystery video? Who Ta sent this one in and just wrote, Wow, Bill, wow, real? If this is real, it shows the most transparent fish I've ever seen. But, I mean, how could this thing be real? It has no organs. I mean, it doesn't even have a stomach. All right, guys, if you have a solid answer for this one and want a shout out at my next show, send your smoking gun proof. And that's important. You need proof with your allegations. Uh, send it to mystery video bills channel at gmail.com now as far as last week's mystery goes i showed you this video it's called dennis robot malfunctions and becomes aware lance o ian lowry and time craft were the first three people to come up with the answer on this one according to this video it's a robot to help dental students learn their craft now the reason this video is so creepy is because somebody took the original video and then added all these crying sounds to it big difference big thanks to all you other guys who came up with the right answer really appreciate it thank you coming up a picture claiming to show a mouse with wavy hair and later do you believe in guarding angels? All right, so what do you say we get out this and we find out the official answer of whether that asteroid called Apophis is going to hit our planet. And by the way, do you know why they call it Apophis? Well, if you were up on your Egyptian mythology as much as you're up on your Godzilla mythology, <laughs> you would know that Apophis is the giant snake god of destruction and chaos. That just goes to show you that, you know, the big scientists, the real scientists of the world, I wouldn't say they're scared of Apophis, but they're definitely a little bit nervous. Why else would you call it the god of destruction and chaos? Okay, <laughs> let's see what we got here. Uh, and the official answer, I mean, not that we don't already have destruction and chaos going on in the last two years anyway. Uh, the official answer is... Fake. As it turns out, scientists know that Apophis will pass close to the Earth in not only 2029, but also in 2036 and 2068. But even with the possible Yakovsky effect causing the asteroid to drift, there is 100% agreement that it will not hit our planet in 2029. Bill Plate, who is an astronomer and former head science writer for the first season of Bill Nye, the science guy, has this to say. I personally am not worried about any big asteroids that are out there right now. You read about ones like Apophis, which is this huge asteroid, and it is going to pass close to the Earth, but at least over the next century, there is essentially zero chance of impact, despite what you hear you know, on, on YouTube channels and uh, uh, in newspapers and stuff, people trying to scare you. All right, well, there you have it. So bottom line, if you're eight years old today, don't cancel your plans for your 16th birthday party because your 16th birthday party is going to be happening in 2029. And, and you know what? I think we're all going to be here and we're going to be just fine. Don't go away just yet. We still have to find out if this picture is for real. And later, we're going to unravel the secrets of this picture 
from Google Maps. Hey, before we move on to that picture of the mouse claiming they have wavy golden hair, I want to take a look at this week's real or fake rejects. Uh, a lot of people sent in this video claiming the show The Sun Exploded. People, do me a favor. If it's daylight or the next time it is daylight where you are, pull your face away from the computer screen and point it towards the window. If it's light outside, guess what? There's still a sun. James Gregory sent this picture and wrote, real alien or fake? James, seriously? I mean, I don't know what you were smoking, but that one is rejected. Soccer Louvre sent this and uh, it's a, uh, duh, rejected. And this fish banana hybrid, yep, rejected. Next up is this picture. It was sent in by Hu Ta, who just wrote, is this a new hybrid kind of mouse? Who, if that's a real mouse, that's the first mouse I've ever seen with wavy hair. Okay guys, take a good look at this one. Do your research, discuss it with your friends, and then let the world know what you think. Go with real if that picture shows a real mouse that really looks like that. Fake if the picture is altered in any way and unknown if you don't think we have a solid answer. All right, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to do this, and we are going to find out who's got it right and who's got it wrong. You know, I was thinking to myself, if this thing is fake, how would you pull that off? Maybe what you would do is like go to a movie, maybe something that Drew Barrymore was in, you know, when she was young, like E.T., that curly blonde hair she had. And you take a copy of that and you paste on no, it. Uh, or if you want to go old school, how about, listen to this one, Peter O'Toole in, what was the name of that movie? Lawrence of Arabia. He had that kind of hair. You ever see that movie? Epic. Epic. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Uh, David Lean was a, like one of the biggest film producer directors ever. And uh, the thing is just really amazing to behold. And now we are going to behold the answer, which is... Wait for it. Here it comes. Real! Thanks to Daniel Patrick Barton, Jen Gingoyan, and Earl Jerry C. Tala on my Facebook, we now know this little guy is an Asterix satin yellow fancy mouse or wavy golden mouse. It was first posted to Deviant Art by Sapphires and This in 2014. Sapphire wrote, since many people do not even realize it is a real animal, and yes, it is real, uh, I didn't dye his fur or make it curly. That is what he's born like. Well, I guess it's time for Mickey Mouse to move over because here comes Wavy Mouse. Next up is this very odd story that was sent in by Jacob Critcher. Jacob wrote, what do you think about this? Jacob, you know, my first thought on this one is, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, guys, listen to this. I'm gonna read the basics of this story to you. Uh, in 1984, a woman started hearing voices in her mind that later proved to save her life. The voices told her that she had a tumor and should consider getting a brain scan. She had no symptoms at all, but still, the expensive treatment was arranged. On doing the scan, the hospital staff was shocked because they detected a brain tumor. The treatment was carried out immediately. Now, according to the woman, she heard from the voices one last time after regaining consciousness from her operation, and that's when she heard them say, we are pleased to have helped you. Goodbye. All right, well, there you have it. Any of you guys out there believe in guardian angels? Because, hey, if there was ever a guardian angel story, this is probably it. I mean, this is up there with, you know, It's a Wonderful Life, if you've ever seen that movie. Help me, Clarence! Get me back to my wife and kids! All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, as you might suspect, the answer 
to this one is real. Thanks to a rather in-depth article from Ripley's Believe It or Not, we can confirm the basic facts of this story are all true. She is only known by her initials AB, but a doctor named Ikikucho Azone reported the entire story in the British Medical Journal. The report goes into a great detail of the type of tumor AB had and the procedure that was used to remove it. So in the end, this story is not just some folklore myth, it is the real deal. I'll leave a link to the Medical Journal report down in the description box. Now for AB, she claims these voices actually belong to her guardian angels. And that's why I asked you guys, do you believe in guardian angels? So let me know what you think down in the comment section. Next up is another odd story. It revolves around this picture that was sent in by Simply and Siporian. Simply wrote, I found this on Google Maps near Fiji in the Pacific. Real or fake? Guys, I don't think I've seen anything on Google Maps that's been real lately, especially those TikTok videos where they claim where they found something. This one just shows a small plane surrounded by a lot of ocean. And then what's weird is the plane itself is surrounded by this dark, patchy shadow. I mean, that looks like bad Photoshop to me. Okay, guys, take a good look and then let us know what you think. If you think this is really some crash plane out in the middle of the ocean that just happened to be captured by Google mapping technology, well, then you go with real. Uh, on the other hand, if you think this is just like maybe a frame, you know, like a screen grab from some super fake TikTok video, well, then you know what to do, right? You go with fake. Uh, and then as a last resort, you can always go with unknown if you don't think anybody has a clue what the real story is here. All right, so let's see if we got here. I mean, who knows? Maybe we've uh, got a photo from Google Earth that shows the remains of Amelia Earhart's lost plane. You know who Amelia Earhart is. I mean, I don't need to go old school on you again. Uh, but she was this woman back in the 1930s who wanted to be the first woman pilot to circumnavigate, like go around the world in an airplane. The first woman to do that. Uh, she got lost over the Pacific and she was never found again. So who knows? Uh, what, and, oh yeah, also the plane she was flying was a 10E Electra, which looks like this, right? And I don't know about you, but that's pretty close to this. That would be really ironic after all this time and the millions and millions and millions of dollars that have been used to try to find the remains of Amelia Earhart or her plane or her navigator. Uh, and then it turns out it's right there on Google Earth. But on the other hand, I don't think that's possible because that happened in 1937. That thing wouldn't even be an outline in the sand at this point. So let's not jump to conclusions. Let's just jump to the real answer here. And the real answer is, Real. After looking at the picture, I asked Simply to send me the actual Google map coordinates so I confirm it. He did, and when I went to those coordinates and zoomed in, well, guess what? There was the plane. Now, as luck would have it, another Bill's Channel viewer from Fiji was making a real or fake submission via email. His name was Amrit Singh. I asked Amrit if he knew about this plane, he got curious and ended up doing some research for us. In his research, Amrit discovered Google had not updated their image of this area of the Pacific since 2016. And if that was the case, then the local authorities would have records of a plane submerged in the water there, right? Makes sense to me. Upon checking with the authorities, he was told there is no submerged plane in that spot. They also informed him that that area was a very popular place for tourists to go snorkeling and diving. They reckoned the plane most likely was owned by a small company called Turtle Airways, which charters seaplanes to tourists. In other words, it was just kind of parked there when they took this picture. So the final conclusion is that plane that we see in that Google Earth map shot, whatever, that is not under the water. It's actually on top of the water. But that didn't stop a British tabloid from printing a story about how this is really about an alien abduction. Their story claims that this bright light, you know, like it's in front of the plane here. Well, that is an alien spaceship.
Okay, uh, why not? But before we go completely with that theory, could we also consider that that bright spot in the water might just be a reflection of the sun? I mean, you know, the sun being up here, the satellite here, the water here. All right, well, I guess it's time to move on to my favorite fake of the week. But before we do that, let's take a look at some all new, fantastic, unbelievable fan art. First up today is this amazing piece from Kelly in Canada. Kelly said it's a Chinese blue ball pen drawing and provided a little video to show herself working on the Mothman portion of this drawing. That is some amazing stuff, Kelly. I love it so much. Thank you. Next up is this playful piece by Red Ooze. Uh, it says, well, actually, Bill is saying, now where is that unknown? It's time to have that smoking gun. Meanwhile, Cartoon Cat is hiding in a bag looking rather scared. That is really fun stuff. Thanks, Red. Next up is this colorful rendition of Bill in his studio. Credit goes to a rather mysterious artist called Bill's Channel Fan. Well, thanks, Bill's Channel Fan. I really like it. And finally today, a collage of sorts from Joshua Torres. Joshua said he decided Mothman and Bill should team up to defeat Project Zorgo. And you know what? I think that's a great idea. Good job. Thank you. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is gonna do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now, for my favorite fake of the week, the picture was sent in by Dom12 and claims to show a man ironing himself. I really like this one for its cleverness, but here's the question for all you chewy piranhas out there. How did the artist achieve this effect, right? In other words, how did he pull it off? Write me or leave me a comment down in the comment section. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.